So here we go with the last of the in position shapes for G major. This one is at the 12th position. So your first finger will be at the 12th fret. Uh, it looks and sounds and feels like a, a natural minor scale, an E natural minor scale or E Aeolian mode. Um, the fingering is very simple and straightforward, all kind of patterns that you will have played before. There's one little position shift in there that you have to watch out for, but apart from that, it's pretty plain sailing. So this is the shape from, from the E on the 12th, 12th fret. So the pattern is one three four one three four one three position shift down to eleventh position one two four back to twelfth position one two four and then finally one three four same as anything you play on the low E string you play on the high E string and vice versa so it's it's very straightforward does that one little position shift that you need to remember to play the same way ascending and descending so when you're descending remember and lead with the fourth finger but apart from that it's very straightforward and all the other usual things that apply once you've got comfortable with the mechanics of this scale get the metronome in there try different rhythmic values patterns intervals you know make stuff up improvise um, but the good news is once you've got that we've got all the shapes from second position 5th position, 7th position, ninth position and 12th position. Then, so we really will be fluent in um, G major from the point of view of the position scales. There's a couple of other approaches we can, we can use as well. But this will give you a really good grounding in that and then we'll move on to other keys. So yeah, have a bit of fun with that.